Kagawa from the Center for Intercultural Organizing. Good afternoon. Um, my name is Casey Chan. I am the executive director of the Center for Intercultural Organizing. Uh, Center for Intercultural Organizing is a grassroots uh, diverse organization uh, working to build uh, a uh, uh, social justice uh, movement in uh, Oregon. And uh, we are an immigrant and refugee led organization. And we do work with the multi uh, uh, issues and multi-racial uh, justice also. Um, so I know that we, it's a nice day today, it's a wonderful, uh, sunny, but I'm going to quickly give you a couple minutes because I think we've been, you know, sitting down and, and we talk quite some time. So what I will do is like, just going to take a few minutes to just frame what we're going to do and then we're going to uh, break these small groups and, uh, and take some and do some work. Uh, so. Um, I think first of all I want to say uh, one of the things that has been really challenging in the last few years or at least last eight years in the Bush administration is that um, as been talked about here also there's uh, too many wars going on. Too many wars going on. And I think sometimes for me even like as a uh, refugee sometimes we feel like we forget the S. We say there's a war, stop the war, but I feel like we need to put an S there because there's wars going on, it's not only war. I will give you also, and I will challenge all of us, I will challenge the peace movement, I will challenge people who are doing a social justice issue to look into even sometimes how we frame this issue because the high, for example right now, the highest humanitarian crisis that we are in the global we are facing today is actually happening in Somalia. Over one million refugees are fled in their homes because of the war that's happening there. And they are internally displaced. There's no food. The entire city of Mogadishu, the capital, is being bombed while the population is living there. Sigisti, 5% of the population fled from the city. And we don't hear nothing. Nothing. It's media, conspiracy, and I, I'll challenge you. You know why? Because nobody gives a shit about a blacks killing each other. That's right. That's the reality. Let's be frank to each other. So we need to challenge ourselves. How do we even talk about racial justice? Within the, within the work that we are doing among ourselves. Why the entire world, not only the United States, the entire world is not talking about when there's a genocide actually happening, where the entire population has been wiped out. And we are funding here, although the Ethiopian troops are doing the job, it's funded and orchestrated by the U.S. and our own taxpayers. So if that means if there's no U.S. soldiers actually on the ground, then we don't talk about it. No, Ethiopians are funded, supported by the U.S. In 2006, when the, the war broke, the U.S. airplanes were participating, they were bombing civilians. We didn't have military ground on the, on the ground, but we we they were bombing, giving air support, the Ethiopian troops. And really that is something that I, I think we need to think about. And there's a war is happening in Chad, there's war is happening in Congo, there's war is happening in Afghanistan, the war in Iraq. So when I mean it, I really feel like we need to you really talk about wars. And actually, sometimes it's not even worse. It's occupation, just like Iraq. Some of the statistics that we hear in Iraq, over 600,000 people died. For what? Afghanistan, same thing. We have over 700 bases, military bases, in the world. This country has more than 700 bases around the world. So I don't understand what we're thinking about. We're taking preemptive, pre preemptive attacks on the other countries. Who is the aggressor? 
We are living in a country that is known the only country in the world who ever used a nuclear war, nuclear weapons. This is the country only in the world has ever been recorded. And here we're talking about people who might be attacking us and, 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 and using a nuclear, a nuclear weapons, so then we have to go and attack before they attack us. Imagine, I think the simple question that for me, the, we're missing the point is that, think about it. What do you expect? What do we expect? Let's, come, let's forget about what's happening in Iraq, in Somalia, in Afghanistan. Let's just, let's say, what do you think we would do, those of us are here today? If just we have the neighborhood that we have, a people who doesn't look like us, who doesn't speak our language, who doesn't understand our culture, come with the tanks and guns and say, we're going to liberate you. What do you think we're going to do? That, isn't that absurd? Yes. And yet, we're doing the same thing, and the people say, oh yeah, we're liberated Iraqis. I mean, it's just simple common sense that people are not talking about and asking questions. We would be in the streets just using whatever we can to kick them out in our neighborhoods. And as simple as that principle that we are just saying, oh yes, let's talk about Arabic freedom. Iraq has been free for thousands of years. They don't need to be free. Maybe they had a bad government. But that's up to the Iraqi people to decide. That's up to Somali people to decide. That's up to Afghanistan people to decide. As much as we decide here what happens here. And yet we are also engaging the same tactics wars in this country, in this place, which war against the immigrants. The US basically that act is itself. We have over now eight thousand Somalis who are in jail who cannot be deported, who completed their sentences, whatever sentence they get, six months, a year, but they're still today sitting in jail because they cannot be deported back to Somalia and they cannot be released to the public. Life sentence. We have people disappearing from their houses. We have Guantanamo Bay. So I know all of us who are here, we have a conscience, we, we know all of this. But sometimes it's okay to remind us. So what I would like to do next is that really, we are informed because we are here. But let's talk about vision. Let's talk about it. We, I mean, we, 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 we talked a lot about this issue. We are having a vision. Enough is enough. We know the problem. We know the issue. But it's, let's talk about vision. Let's talk about why we need to think about more movement building and social justice. Because even if we stop the Iran war, even if we stop the Afghani war, even if we stop the Somali war, without talking about social justice movement building, we're going to be in the same circle, cycle again. We've been there. People went to the streets on the, on the Vietnam War by thousands, by hundreds of thousands. We stopped, they stopped it, the Vietnam War. We went back 40 years later, 35 years later, we went back the same cycle. So I think we need to think about vision, we need to think about what is it we need as a society to do different. So we don't have to end up the same cycle 30 years later on the road, 20 years on the road, 40 years on the road. And to me, that means we need to think about enough, enough, let's talk about vision, let's talk about different world, let's talk about social justice. Yes? Um, I hear what you're saying, but I think we have to start with the whole education process of the United States of America because we, that are Americans, born and raised, guess what? That's what we know. And you're, if you're coming in from another country, you don't have that history, that background you might be more active to move and do action, whereas people here, it's almost like, you know, it's a way of life. It's the lifestyle, it's what we know. And so, to me, I think we have to start with educating people about the, the systems, because we're dealing with systems. 
Then you just hit my note. That's exactly what we're going to be doing next 40 minutes or so. Um, because this is supposed to be a teaching. And I think, you know, you, that's the, the heart of the question. Without having analysis building and conscious building and education, we can't do this. We cannot do this. We have, that's what I was going with. We have to do more community education building. And I think one of the challenges that we have is that how do we do that? It takes a small group of people like us here today, here, creating a agenda, figuring out when we have not a chance a 2008 election, when the election is around the corner, how do we bring this issue to local community? What is happening in, in here, in Oregon, in the United States, so we can have an impact what is happening in the other part of the world? As you, I don't know how many of you watched the debates, the, 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 the you know, the Tuesday debates. Almost right now we are framing as the war of Iraq is success and it's done and it's finished. That's how the people who are now almost running for the office, that's how they are framing. That because we have the certain troops in Iraq, it's done, it's solved, now we, we, we do not need to talk about it. So it's our responsibility to keep this issue on the table and remind us in the community there's healthcare issues, there's education issues, there's a, um, you know, jobs. How do we keep the local issue alive and demand saying that you, we're not going to allow you to destroy billions of dollars to another country where all these issues are nearest us in this country that we are, we, we are having here. So I think that's what we're going to do. What I would like to do now from us, I think we're going to just, I'm going to just go like right down in the middle of two, we're going to define in two halves. Um, do we have a uh, markers and bits? Yeah. Oh, the pens? Yeah, markers. I, 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 I brought them to you. They're back there. So what I would like to do right now, just like let's break into two halves. Um, that's and let's take about 15 minutes. And each group, please select a subscriber and uh, someone who's going to be reporting back, and also a facilitator. And what I would like you to do is that take about next 15, 20 minutes and discuss the question: How? Based on the 2008, we know that the election is around the corner, and as a community, how do we, can we keep the issues of the war on the table and talk about in a way that we can keep the needs of the local community? So how do we do that? What would be some concrete steps like Oregon action? And as a community, we can take in order to keep these issues alive. So let's take uh, uh, 15 to 20 minutes and then have uh, 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 please select a subscriber and uh, report to someone who's going to report back. <laughs> 